G'day, Ryan Nat, Matt from Trade Web Guys here, and I'm coming at you today. If you're an Australian business owner, there's been an interesting update on the front of um, the government requesting business owners to secure themselves um, and create a director ID. And today I'm just going to dive in a little bit about this. Now, I have had some information sent to me in relation to this, and I've been through this process myself. So I know a little bit about it, but I do encourage you uh, to do your own research on it. And what I also would encourage you guys to do is if you are the director of a company and you have not yet been through this process, go and speak to your accountant because they are typically the ones that are going to help you set this up. They did certainly for me. Okay. So I'm going to give you a bit of a background as to what this is all about. Essentially, what they're trying to do, the Australian government is trying to get anyone that's a director within a business. I'm going to send you guys some resources too, and it'll be in this post. So you can scroll down and you can click on it um, on, on the links here to find out more information about it and to actually go and secure yours if you don't want to go through your account. But um, basically what they're doing is the, the regulators are trying to um, make sure that everybody has, every company has a, a director that has been verified with their identity. And the reason I believe they are doing this is to prevent situations where you've got companies that have essentially got false heads of the company, like pretend directors. You know, it might be an instance where you've got a, you know, uh, there's, a there's a company that's turning millions and millions of dollars and the director is the real owner's wife or something to that extent, right? So they're trying to crack down on this. So on paper, it's actually quite a good um, initiative. The practicalities of it and the rollout of it are yet to be d defined. I mean, it's it's had, supposed to be completed by the end of November. I will be very surprised if they don't extend this um, because essentially they're saying, you have to have this number by a certain date, otherwise, um, you know, it's essentially illegal. So I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but anyway, it'll be interesting to see how it rolls out. Fraudulent identities is is the issue at hand, which they're trying to address. And that doesn't always necessarily mean it's a deliberate thing either, but there's, I've been reading some articles and some resources and things on people that have found out that they ha are actually have been nominated as the director of a company, even though they are not, and they didn't know they were none the wiser. So scenarios where you might have people that are in your business, and you know that they, they've be, you might have been elected the director, and then the business goes into liquidation or it becomes insolvent, and you as the director um, have been hit with the complete liability of that, and you're not even the director, or you didn't even know about it, right? So it, it is quite a good idea if you're an Australian business owner please go and do it because um, it is required and there's not a huge amount of publicity about it, to be honest. I didn't hear about this until my accountant sent it to me. You know, there's not a huge amount of publicity about this. So um, it could you could end up in a bit of hot water if you don't get it done. Uh, so this here is a resource. Again, it'll, the links will be within this post, so go check it out. Uh, it is time sensitive again. So um, yeah, please make sure you, you act on this sooner than later. It talks about how the director ID works. It talks about why you need it some of the things I've just covered here. And then there's some steps here on who needs to apply and when. And we're just going to jump into some of these. Um, who needs a director's ID? You need a director ID if you're eligible, an eligible officer of a company registered in Australian body. Okay, so if basically if you're the director of Australian business or registered foreign company under the Corporations Act, blah, blah, blah. Much of the same here if you're an Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander corporation registered. So if you're a director or an alternate director that is acting in that capacity, there's a full drop down here, which you guys can go and explore at your own time. Again, check the links out. But when do you need to apply? Uh, I suppose this is the important thing. The crunch date for this uh, is essentially the date you first become a director. So if it is on or before the 31st of October, which most of it would be in 20, 2021, you need to have applied for this by the 30th of November, which is in a few weeks. It's a very easy process, by the way. You fill a form in, it doesn't take that long, but you, you've got to have it done by the 30th of November, essentially. Now, I'm going to show you a link to the, um, the actual place where you can apply for this. You just scroll down on this page and you click in on here. Uh, before you start, so the way that it does is it links to your government, um, your MyGov ID. I guess that's kind of the government's way of bringing everything into the one place, which I think is really good, to be honest. It, no, nothing irritates me more than when you look at even things like driver's licenses and passports and things like that, where there's so many moving parts that don't speak to each other. I think this is a really good way 
the government are kind of bringing everything together to, for simplicity, you know, bringing your Medicare, connecting it to your MyGov ID and all these kind of things. I think it's a really good movement. Of course, there's going to be critics saying, oh, you know, too much data, too much data, no privacy, blah, blah, blah. But I think in complete honesty, there's just so much confusion at the moment with all the different things that you need. And I think this is a good step forward. Anyway, so you do have to have um, your um, MyGov ID if you don't have that, which you probably do, uh, get it set up. And then when you get together, you have to gather your, doc your documents to verify the business. You can do most of this through your phone. Um, again, just follow the, um, and, and you need verification documents and things like that as well. So you've got to have things like passports, driver's license, birth certificates, blah, 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 to set up your MyGov ID. Uh, but if you've already done that, then you basically just need to jump down to the gather your documents, which I think the one, the one that I used was a um, tax file number and I had a PAYG, it was a PAYG summary from my accountant. You do need to have some documents ready um, in order for this to, um, to proceed, but once you have it, it's pretty straightforward. So again, guys, I'm gonna share this link with you. Um, it's not a hard process, but it is one that as a business owner, you gotta have done. I would say, first of all, speak to your accountant uh, if you haven't already done this, um, because chances are they'll just do it for you. Uh, and if they don't know anything about it, then um, you know, take it upon your own initiative to get it done. Anyway, that's all from me, Matt from Trading Web, guys. Um, please, if you like this video, hit subscribe, give it a like, um, and we look forward to speaking to you in upcoming videos. Ciao.